hey guys and welcome back to my channel now big brother ninja Kess's wife reveals how she caught her husband and christy o cheating big brother ninja Kess has denied allegations made by his wife della that he is cheating with his colleague christy o now Kess's wife recently called him out on social media alleging he is cheating with christy o a former big brother ninja housemate Mandela said Kess told him he and Christy O were just friends and roommates, only to realize that he has been forcing her to pay their house rent. She also accused him of hitting her on the she also accused him of hitting her on the head when she refused to give him money for his rent. Now to buttress her allegations, she went ahead to share some of her husband's alleged chats with Christy O. In reaction via video on his Instagram account, Kes denied the allegation of having an affair with Christy O or other or any other housemates. He also said he knew the woman he married, but never knew she could go to the length of coming up with fake chats to accuse him of infidelity online. Apparently, Kes's wife had something contrary to say about all this. I'm here to clarify some things to address the elephant in the room and I just want to be able to share um, how I feel at the moment. Some of you don't believe that I was the one posting. Um, it is me. Um, I'm the one venting. I'm the one um, hurting and uh, I just want to address it one more time. So. Stop dragging a man I claim my love. I'm not dragging anybody. This is me standing up for myself. If you don't want me to stand up for myself and you think that I'm dragging my soon-to-be ex-husband, please leave the room because I don't have time for you to be telling me that I'm dragging someone. Nobody's dragging anybody. If more than anything, I'm the one who has been victimized by this scam marriage that I fought out of love for three years years so if you don't understand me as a woman that what i'm feeling right now is anger anger hurt and everything else then please leave the room and if you're a man who doesn't understand that a man could hurt a, a woman like me and you think that you're right that he has the right to treat me the way he did please leave the room because i'm here to address what has happened okay so, everybody, I'm, you know, I just wanted to start with this. I was in Nigeria, September 7, which was my birthday. I arrived in Nigeria because he asked me to come. Before that, the last week of August, we had a big argument about his roommate because I was starting to have a feeling that there's something was going on and he wouldn't admit because one, he was asking for a thousand dollars from me at the end of August, um, the truth is his business was affected by a theft. You know, somebody stole a truck and I guess it's affecting a business. They want to report it to the police, but the police is asking money for investigation. So he was asking a thousand dollars from me. But I was thinking more than that because nobody was telling me anything. So that was a thousand dollars, right? We had a big argument and then I started accusing him of wanting money for lease for his apartment to renew it because of his roommate. Um, you know, I'm starting to have a feeling that they're sleeping with one another. Of course, I have no proof. I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not going to forgive my husband. One thing you guys keep asking me to forgive my husband. If you're in my shoes, you're not going to forgive what he has done to me. So I'm telling you that right now. And I'm sorry. I'm an American, not a Nigerian. Okay, we don't believe in having to be sleeping with another man. If you, if I was sleeping with another man, do you think he'd forgive me? Do you see me? You think I'm not capable of sleeping with somebody else, but I don't. I stayed loyal. Three years of this relationship, I sacrificed a lot too. I mean, I'm sure he did too, right? But like I said, I came to Nigeria September 7. He invited uh, his friends, which uh, at that time, Farm Savi was there. Um, the uh, him, the mistress, her name is Christio, and her sister. We couldn't invite anybody else because we only had one car. 
we celebrated my birthday, had food, drinks, and you know, I wasn't drinking because I don't, he, he wouldn't let me drink because I'm a lightweight. Anyways, I'm just telling you guys a story here, whether you want to hear it or not. And I don't know uh, what you're posting, but the thing is, this woman, this woman sang me a happy birthday to my face. She greeted me, happy birthday, angel. I'm wishing you the very best in life and may you, may God bless you always and blah, blah, blah. They sang a happy birthday to, for me in the car. I recorded that. It was recorded. I posted it on Facebook. I posted it on Instagram story. I was giving my husband the benefit of the doubt that maybe they are just friends, right? But I noticed that every time he would record me, he would pan the camera to her. You know, she's very sexy. You know, she likes to dress up. She doesn't have boobs, but she likes to dress up sexy to show the man that she's sexy. Because she reminds me out all the time. Every time we go out, please be sexy. Okay. Maybe she meant be a whore. Anyways. So we got home. to the, I mean, we, you know, I was staying at his place. He told me to stay at his place. So that we can save money for the hotel. That way, at least I can give him money for rent, right? So I'm like, okay. Besides, I wanted to see what I wanted to see. I noticed that he was on Instagram a lot. He would stay in the room. He wouldn't let me out of the room. If I go downstairs, he will nag me. Why are you downstairs? Why are you following me? Like, I couldn't follow him downstairs, the house. Um, every time he stepped out of the room, like, you know, I would want to step too. So, because that way, at least I can get a drink, food or whatever. Um, I noticed that he's very, very protective, I'm a psychologist. I read your actions. I will read your face. I will read your demeanor. That's my training. I am a doctor. I am a psychologist. Yes, that's who I am. So I noticed that. So after a while, I've noticed the uncomfortable, you know, I'm being uncomfortable because she's throwing attitude. She's throwing banging doors. She's like telling Kess stuff. She's calling Kess privately in the kitchen. Why? His wife is next to him, and you're calling my husband in the kitchen. Kes, come. And then her sister would tell Kes, Kes, my sister is calling you. I felt uncomfortable. I said, you know what? I'm not going to stay here. I'm not. So I said, we are going to a hotel. I'm going to a hotel whether with, with or without you. That was my threat. With or without you. So he went with me. We went to a hotel that we can afford so the rest of the money that I have that I brought with me to Nigeria can be accommodated for his goddamn rent. I'm sorry to say a cursing word. As you can tell, I am pissed off. I they vexed oh I they vex very, very much. You would be too if you are the woman scorned by the man that you love for three years that you've dedicated your life. You bore a child. My child died, got pregnant again, had a miscarriage for something that I went through and I suffered over and over for this man to show him how much I love him. He, he is my life, my world. I've given him almost probably the, the way I calculated was about 45,000 and some change. $45,000 is what I've given him for the three years that we've been together. Just fucking Dubai alone. I'm sorry to curse because that's me. Dubai alone was like 10 grand. He didn't spend one cent. That was for his birthday. The second birthday he had, again, I spent a lot. And every time I traveled, every time we do things together, it was always me. I'm the breadwinner, yes, because I'm, I'm the psychologist, right? I'm the one who gets paid a lot. He has a business, but do you think that he's ever spent anything with me for out of that business? I never ask for anything. I never ask for one damn dime. Never. So I'm here right now just to set the record straight. Yes, I am so pissed. Yes, I am so hurt. Yes, he did this to me. The simple thing that you could have done to a person that you're in a relationship with, if you're tired, if you're no longer interested because the sex is not good or you're just not vibing or there's no chemistry, it's just to be honest and say, you know what, I'm sorry to do this to you, but I fell in love with someone else and this, she's the one I want to be with. I'm sorry to hurt you, but I want to move on. 
I would have been more understanding because that's what I say to him all the time. I said, Cassiana, tell me the truth because I am the most understanding woman in the world. After what he has done to me over and over and over. This is not the first time, guys. This is not the first time. Okay, he's from Del Su. You think he would not meet Del Su friends and Del Su girls and Del Su going after him? Oh, Kaz, a celebrity. Oh, Kaz, big brother. Woo -hoo. Hmm. And me, having to be in the United States, I don't know what the heck my husband is doing. The only time I get to see what he's doing is that when I'm with him and he lets go of that phone. I, yeah, I'm not denying it. I am an FBI. I am. Oh, not female body inspector. I will inspect that phone. I have every right as your wife to go through that motherfucking phone, guys. That's what I did. I took a screenshot of everything that's on the phone. So it's not scripted. It's not staged. It is a picture I took out of his deleted inbox. Whether you want to believe it or not, I don't know. Some of you are uneducated that attacking me. This is staged. This is scripted. Please, it is not. My husband was asleep. I know his password. I know something is going on. I needed to know for my peace of mind. I needed to know for my inner peace of mind. To know what the fuck he's doing with that girl in that house that he's denying that he has no sexual relationship. I sound like freaking the former president of the United States. Now, I did not sleep with that woman. I am his wife, guys. I've seen things that he has done to me and he denied it. Since our first year of marriage, actually not even first year of our marriage, even before six months of our marriage, after my birthday celebrating with him in Abraka, in Delta, right? I was in Delta celebrating my birthday with him. The night that we got home, some phone call arrived and he was being secretive. A girl pursued him. He saw a freaking pretty ass, pretty tall girl, nice boobs, showing everything. Sent him a naked video dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me, Kaz. I'm here for you. Wanna fuck me? Oh yeah, he did. I caught that part too. You want to know her name? It dragged on for months, the argument of this freaking girl who's, she's paying to have sex on the phone. He's paying to masturbate on the phone. He's paying to watch a naked video. I mean, I don't know. I must have married a sick man or addicted to sex because he said my libido is very high and yet his is not. So he didn't want to have as much sex with me because my libido is high because I love sex. That's what he said. Yeah, I do. I'm an American. I'm also a Filipina lady. I love having sex. I love making love to my husband. But he doesn't want to do that with me as often as he can because he's already getting it somewhere else. So, guys. You guys go explain to her. Okay, yeah. But this is the truth. I'm talking from my heart, from my mind, from my soul. I genuinely love that motherfucker. I gave him my all. Sorry, I don't want to cry. But I'm hurting. Because he duped me. He married me for American visa. He married me because he knows I'm a doctor. He married me because I have income. He married me to, for me to support his ass. Do you know how much I paid for his sister's education? As much as he want to deny that I didn't do nothing, that everything he has is his own and he worked hard for, fuck that. Fuck that. Like I said, excuse the fucking F words. I'm fucking very angry. You would be too. If your husband fucks somebody else over and over, screw this woman, denied and denied and denied, and here you are fucking, how much do you need, baby? How much do you need? You want to see crazy? You're seeing crazy right now because I'm that fucking pissed. You would be too. You spent all your money, all your time, all your effort flying. You know, do you think it's easy to fly to Nigeria from United States? From California alone, last, the other day, it took me 37 hours to get home. That's the sacrifice I make for this motherfucker. Every time I fly and every time I go home. 
Hey, Rhino. So, I'm pissed. Yes, I am. I'm hurt. Yes, I am. I feel betrayed. Yes, I do. He proposed to me. He asked me to be his girlfriend. And I said yes. Because I fell in love with the sweetness of this guy, the sweet talking, the handsome face that, you know, a few years back, I stood by him. From day one, I've been there. When he asked for money the first time, I gave. I didn't hesitate. We celebrated first anniversary when I met him in person. It was funny because I got drunk and I passed out, found myself naked on the bed, and he said he didn't touch me. He respected me. He just helped me clean. And I figured with that, if I had kind of a man who would respect me and change me when I'm drunk and dress me up and took care of me, I was not chopped up in pieces, is a man for me to marry because he respected me. He proposed to me, and since I was already in the country, we got married. I thought, I found the perfect man. I thought, this is such a wonderful love, a perfect love story for someone romantic like me. I fell for everything that he offered me, which was nothing.